emergency of international concern over the global outbreak of novel coronavirus. Tunak Tamadi Muhammad telah menghantar surat pelepakan jawatan sebagai Perdana Menteri Malaysia. Dan untuk itu, kerajaan memutuskan untuk melaksanakan Perintah Kawalan Pergerakan. Negara telah merekodkan kes tertinggi harian sebanyak sepanjang pandemik ini iaitu sebanyak 1,884 kes baru. Huh. Time flies by so fast this year. It's already December. Oh, and it's going to be Christmas soon. And that means mall decorations like KLCC, Pavilion, Wanutama. Mid Valley. Oh yes, Mid Valley as well, right? And there's no snow in Malaysia, but there's still a Christmas spirit because of sales. What? Why would you care about sales? Oh, because you can buy so many presents at such a cheap price. Imagine that presents for everyone and we have it when we all open the presents at the Christmas parties and have a great feast with all our friends and family. Ah, so awesome. Yeah, but this Christmas we won't be able to have friends, families because of COVID-19. Yeah, you're right, isn't it? Oh, just think of the numbers going up, the cases rising. We don't know who might be infected. Oh, isn't it scary? Yeah, it's super scary to pray that you're not going to be infected. But you know what? That actually reminds me of Christmas. What? This year was the worst out of all the years. Exactly. The first Christmas wasn't that great either. What do you mean about that? Well, you see, when Jesus was born, he was laying in a manger. And that's where the animals eat from. That's not that great, isn't it? And you know like how we have to go everywhere we go, we have to scan my Jatra wherever we go, yeah? Just tell me about it! Yeah, but can you imagine for Joseph and Mary? She was heavily pregnant and they had to travel from Nazareth to Bethlehem. That's like 100 km, you know, right? And when they were there, they couldn't even find somewhere to stay. going for 100 kilometers out on a donkey's back. My parents won't even let me out of the house. 
Yeah, we don't always think about that part of Christmas, don't we? But I wonder though, I wonder if Mary knew what she was getting into and all that would happen. Like how she was on a special journey that God had for her. The amazing things that God had in store for her because of Christmas. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would one day walk on water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? This child that you deliver will soon pretty great about this Christmas now that I know it's not only gonna be about makan and gifts yeah totally and even though it's in the name Christmas we often forget that it's about Jesus Christ and it's kind of amazing that he came into our world as a baby under pretty horrible circumstances kind of like 2020 right and like 2020 the hardships just didn't stop for him there he continued to live a life of hardship even though he was God, even though he was a king. He lived a really poor life of difficult means and even though he was innocent, he died a guilty person's death. Also, that he could save us from our sin because we were all in a horrible situation and God saw that we needed to be saved from our sin, our own evil. And Jesus died our death in our place. And God gave us the greatest gift on Christmas. He gave us a savior so that in Jesus we have forgiveness, life, resurrection, and reconciliation with him. And that's the reason why we celebrate Christmas.
How COVID-19 has affected me and my family? Well, it is definitely affected. I lost my job due to retrenchment in May. Uh, of course, COVID-19 has affected many industries and businesses around the world. Um, one good thing is that I had a little break, a little vacation. Um, um, so my wife is the breadwinner for the family. She supports the family and also my mom. Um, and thank God for his grace and mercy. Uh, he provides us as well. Um, and it's also come to a point of time where I realized that, hey, you know, I can't be in holiday for that long. Um, so I started to uh, go into baking. I baked chocolate brownies, really awesome brownies, uh, and started selling them online and uh, to help supplement the income of the family. Uh, one thing um, that we really miss is actually uh, physically going for growth group and also ch the church. Um, but thank God for technology which had helped us to bridge the gap closer. Um, so we're able to meet more frequent uh, at any time, at any day. Uh, thank God for that. Um, and I wish everyone is good and healthy. For my family, we have been apart for most of the year and uh, they hardly come over due to the MCO so I spend most of my time alone and as for me uh, what I used to do was to go to church uh, especially during Christmas but now I can't do so and for me church is important because I uh, it's where I get to be with other Christians to worship God together am I going to celebrate Christmas this year oh definitely yes um, of course, uh, it won't be as merry or grand on how we celebrate Christmas every year growing up. Um, but this year seems to be quieter. But I guess it's good because Christmas is not about Santa Claus or um, presents under the Christmas tree. Um, but it is a good time for us to reflect our relationship with God, um, to know who is Jesus Christ. Um, Jesus Christ uh, came to earth 2,000 years ago. Um, a son of God to die on the cross uh, for our sin and sins of all mankind um, and he rose from the dead uh, to save us and to give us hope and salvation. Yes, I'm still going to celebrate Christmas this year because Christmas reminds me <gasps> of what God has done in the past where God came down in human form as Jesus to save us from our sins. So he's not some distant God. He existed and he bore my sins upon the cross. So because he did that in the past, I have hope now that he will strengthen me and that he knows my loneliness and my pain and he will give me strength to bear all these problems through. So don't be despair this year, uh, if you could or could not celebrate Christmas as usual, um, but take this opportunity to reflect and share the opportunity of hope and salvation to the people and family out there. And I would like to wish all of you Merry Christmas. Hi everyone, my name is Andrew uh, and I'm one of the pastors at St. Mary's Cathedral. Thank you for joining us for this online Christmas event and a big thank you to the team who have worked very hard to produce it. We have more online Christmas specials coming this week and we hope you can join us for them. Uh, do check out our Christmas page uh, on the link below uh, and that will connect you to all our online Christmas events and videos. On Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. We have Christmas Bites, B-Y-T-E-S, and each consists of a couple of carols 
a reading and a short message to help us get ready for Christmas. On Christmas Eve at 6pm, we'll have a special online Christmas service for the kids. We'll also have our normal Christmas services, which you can join us at either 11.30pm on Christmas Eve or on Christmas morning, also online. We also have online church every Sunday, and you're welcome to join us for that as well. A lot of people intend to explore the meaning of life and find out about God, but it's actually very hard for them to work out how to do that. And they're too busy to do a lot of research. Well, in the new year, we'd love you to do a short course with us called Life Explored. Life Explored is designed to help people explore the meaning of life and to introduce them to the God who is revealed in Jesus Christ. It will run by Zoom for seven easy sessions on Sunday afternoons from 2 p.m. starting the first Sunday in January. Getting to know God through the Bible would be a wonderful start to the new year and indeed a new chapter in life. So please do sign up for this free course on our website or by using the link on the screen. In the meantime, on behalf of the whole Cathedral community, may I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.